Is it wrong that I don't want to be anywhere near this guy? Because I don't. Hey! What's up, my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the unique toys, Caligos! So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up front here, we have an image of Caligos, aka Onslaught Stellar Warrior. He's a stellar, stellar warrior. Big old window box, and up top it just says Caligos, logos, things and stuff. On the top, Caligos, on the bottom, warning! Don't eat anything in this box, that could be very bad for you. On the side of the box, you have Caligos, 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 Caligos! Uh, and you have your obligatory product shots in the back. Does this, that, the other, all that good stuff, and that's basically it for the packaging. Also included is the collector's card with another nice image there of a Caligos aka Onslaught and on the back it just says Unique Toys Hooray for Cards. So moving right along here we have Caligos. I think that's how you pronounce his name. It doesn't matter. Don't bother correcting me in the comment section because his name is Onslaught. That's his name. I know it. You know it. So why quibble over minutia? But this is the next component in Unique Toys Ragnaros, their Bruticus, and this is their take on Onslaught. And uh, it's a pretty cool figure. It has issues. It has issues. We'll get to that when we get to robot mode, but this figure definitely has issues, unfortunately. But we'll get into that a bit later. But here he is in his vehicle mode. The vehicle mode looks pretty good in my opinion. So let's get in close here. So we can take a look at the details. Lots of nice silver paint right up front there for that front grill, front bumper. You got some transparent plastic there for the headlights. You got some riveting action going down the sides here. Uh, the rims done in silver. The tires are rubber, which is nice. Uh, you got the trans clearance tinted plastic there for the uh, front windshield and the windows there. The big cannons done in silver. Looks quite nice. Got some gunmetal gray going down the sides as well. Some more molded details going down the sides. You got some more silver here for the steps. And going down to the trailer section here, you got some more silver. You got some greens. You got some grays going on. And a lot of nice molded detail. Got some diamond plate detailing back there. Some more detail picked out there in silver. And the tail lights done in yellow and red. Although for some reason I can never get this side to lay flat like it's supposed to. Don't know why. I don't know. I might just be doing something wrong. I don't know. You got all that's going on. The underside, uh, the upper body actually conceals itself very well. But uh, the trailer section, it's obvious these are robot legs. But hey! Still looks good anyway. Uh, as you can see, the cab can pivot at this point right here. So you can have him making some nice turns if you want to. He does roll as rolling things should. He does roll very smoothly. All of those wheels work very nicely. Um, if you want to, you can take one of his Combaticon compatriots and just plop him back here and you can tow him along. I mean, granted he has little wheels of his own so he'll probably fall off the back if you go too fast. Hey, anyway, that's an action feature. That's what that is, that's an action feature. Just, it's launching action feature. Ha! Go, brawl! Go! Some Knight Rider stuff going on there. I, 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 I don't know. Anyway, now as far as accessories go, he only includes one, and that is the uh, combined mode chest plate right here, which is cast in gray plastic with some dark gray paint tabs and some silver right across there. You can see nicely. Detailed, looks pretty good, just needs a big old Decepticon symbol right there. I'll, I'll slap a sticker on a little bit later. But there is the chest shield. Um, there is no way that I have found to store this in vehicle mode. The instructions don't say anything about storage in vehicle mode, and I haven't found any way to plug this in anywhere, so I don't think there is a way. I don't know, but... Uh, it's okay. <laughs> But there is something else you can do with this, but we'll get into that a little bit later. So, you got that going on. Another thing to mention here with the vehicle mode is uh, the cannons here can angle back and they can rotate. 
I can do a full 360 there, which is quite nice. We can pew pew, bang bang, pew pew, bang bang, pew pew, bang bang. So, you got all that right there. And for comparison, here he is with the Warbitron on slots. So you can see how they look together. Here he is with Combiner Wars on slots. And here he is with G1 on slot because it's pressure. It's on slotting pressure. Grr. And for another sense of scale, here he is with MP10. And here he is with his Combaticon buddies. There is Brawl. And there is Swindle. And the team is shaping up quite, quite nicely. So that is pretty much it for the vehicle mode. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's. Now, I'm not going to go into combined mode in this video. I'm actually going to save that for the finale. I think that's the way I'm going to do things from now on is the main torso bot. I'm going to save the combined mode transformation for the finale because I just like having that big reveal at the end. So what we're going to do is we're going to start from the back and work our way up. So what we're going to do first is just take the section right here, raise this up. You want to come to the front here. You want to take this bit right here and bring that up. That's his crotch. So now he has a complete crotch. Hooray for complete crotches. And uh, these panels, I don't know how well you can see in here, but you can see one panel actually clips over the other panel. So you want to start with this side first. So you're going to untab this section here, bring it up. You see, it just tabs in right there. And then you want to take this panel and raise it up, and that will unclip it from that side. And now this side is free to move. So you just undo that, undo that. And then you can just fold these in, tab them together. Just split the legs. All the tab connections are quite snug on this guy to the point where I do have a couple of, a couple of stress marks on these. I don't know if you can see them, but they're there. So you just take these panels and they will just tab in right there, like so. And then you just open up the feet, open up the feet, and the wheel section right here just untabs. And you, no, you don't undo all that. You just take it, <laughs> rotate it, and bring it forward. And that will just tab in right back where it was, like so. They have a leg all done. Same side, same side, same thing on the other side. That's what I meant to say, not same side. This isn't the same side. This is a different side. There we go. Rotate that around. <laughs> now you can take this, bring this back down. And there you have the lower body pretty much all done. You got these knee pieces here, which you can angle out if you want to. So now we will move on to the upper body. So first thing you want to do is just come to the front here and just split this whole front section here, which just have been very, very securely, a little too securely. Again, you can see I got, you can definitely see them here. I got stress marks on that tab because that's just a super tight connection there. But anyway, just take these sections here. Just bring them down. You want to take the cannons, bring these back so you can open this panel up. And that will allow you to swing the head out like so. Close that up. Close that up. And you want to take these panels now and bring these back like so. And once you do that, take these panels here, bring them down. Now this section right here is actually locking the slider in place. You can see it just tabs in right in here. So you have to pull this out. It's on a double hinge. You can see there where it tabs in. So once you undo that, you can now take this upper torso and that will compress down into the body like so. And then you can take this and get this in position here and just slide it down and then push it back and that will tab into place and now lock that slider back into place. So that's how that works. So now that we've done that, we can take the arms, bring them down. You can take these pieces here. They just untab and shift over and we'll just plug in right there to form a peck. Untap that, bring that over to form his other pack. 
And once we've done that, we can start working on the arms. So you just want to unpeg the arms from the sign here. You can see that peg goes right in there. And then we can take this peg and just flip that in like so. So now for the arms, you want to take this section here. You just want to bring it up. You want to rotate it to the forefront. And as you do that, this little bit right here will just kind of move over on its own. And then you just bring that down, which in turn will bring that up for you. This part kind of transforms for you, which is nice. And you just take this and bring that down over the shoulder like that. And this windshield section you can bring up, just have that sitting flat. And you want to take the forearm here, rotate it to 180. You want to take this grill section here and, well, you want to flip the bumper down. Open that up, open that up rotate the hand out and you can see here how the hand needs to be uh needs to be oriented for vehicle mode just like that so rotate to the hand around and then you can just bring this up and close it back up close that back up rotate the hand around and there you have an arm all done second last just like the first so unpeg flip that in Undo that, swing that around, bring that down, put it on his shoulder, and just bring that up, get that out of the way, so you can rotate the form around, flip down that bumper, open this up, open that up, swing the hand around, close it all back up, close it up, rotate. Everything oriented there. And the last thing you're going to do is just take his head, turn it around, and there you have Caligos, aka Onslaught, in his robot mode. And he looks good. He is definitely a, uh, a nice looking onslaught, in my opinion. So that's getting close here. Not on his chest, on his noggin. That's his noggin. You can see the visor right there. The light piping kind of works. Kind of works a little bit. Oh, you got some nice silver there for the mouth plates. And all around, a pretty nicely done head sculpt. Got little missile pods there on his shoulders. A little bit of gunmetal gray in there. You got some silver there on the chest, some yellow. You got some dark purple, some black. Got some transparent plastic right there on the waist section. You even have some details on the uh, inner part of the forearms there, picked out in paints. Got some gray there. You got some of that smoky transparent plastic there on these knee pieces. Some nice molded detail going down the shins, as well as some purple, some more of that gunmetal gray there. And the back, pretty clean. Of course, you have the uh, the backpack here with the big cannons, but that's just Onslaught's design, so that's supposed to be there. So, yeah. Looks pretty good. Now, articulation-wise, uh, he can look up and down. Head can do a full 360. If you want to use that, uh, that panel the head is on, you can have him looking further up, so you can do squirrel. He can do that and look a lot further down if you want to. Uh, the shoulders... Can do a full 360 on a ratchet joint, can go in and out. Of course, you'll have to kind of move those out of the way. We have inward and outward movement there at the shoulder. You do have, if you get this panel out of the way here, you do have bicep rotation, which is quite snug on mine. Uh, slightly over 90 degrees of bend at the elbow. As far as the hands go, the hands are poseable. You do have a ball joint at the thumb. And each finger is individually articulated with a hinge there and a hinge there. You do also have wrist rotation. You do have waist rotation. These panels can move out of the way to accommodate the leg movement. The legs can move forward that far. Can move. Ratchet's really tight and that's part of the problem. But anyway, can move back. I don't know. About that far back before I get tired. Um, outward, you can do the full splits. You got thigh rotation. You do have 90 degrees of bend there at the knee on a nice smooth ratchet there. 
Get in these little knee panels here. You can angle this however you want. You can bring them all the way down if you want to. Totally up to you. Uh, the feet can move down. They can move up very slightly, but mostly down to transformation. And you have full tiltage right there. And you do, you know, have a toe joint that moves down anyway, as well as the heel. So now let's talk about the issues that this figure has. And the issue is that you were supposed to hear a lot more clicking than you actually did. Uh, some of the ratchets on this figure have failed. Um, the waist joint is supposed to be a ratchet. You're supposed to be hearing clicking. And when I first took this out of the box, it clicked. It don't click no more. It squeaks, but it doesn't click anymore. Um, the legs, as far as the outward movements, again, you're supposed to hear clicking there. When I first took this out of the box, these joints clicked on both sides. They clicked. They don't click no more. These ratchets have failed and the ratchet moving forward and back is very tight as well. And I'm worried about that ratchet eventually failing as well. Um, so yeah, some of the ratchets on this figure, unfortunately have failed. Now the waist ratchet, I really don't care about because there was no point in that being on a ratchet anyway. And that joint is plenty snug as it is, even without the ratchet. So that I don't care about. Now the ratchets in the hips failing, that does concern me because that is for the combined mode. And it really seems like there's a delicate balance that has to go on there as far as the combiner with the ratchet joints, because obviously you want the ratchets to be strong enough to support the weight of the full combined mode. So you can, you know, so you can pose them and do what you want with them without them flopping around. The downside is that if you make those ratchets too tight, then there is the risk of them breaking and not working. And that's what's happened here. The ratchets were just too tight and ended up just failing. And like I said, that forward and backward movement on that ratchet is really tight too. And I, I'm just waiting for those ratchets to eventually fail. So far they're still working, but the forward and backward movement, I'm, I'm waiting for those to go too. So it, it does seem like it, it is a, a, a real delicate balance that uh, you have to, you have to hit for a combiner of this size that apparently Unique Toys hasn't quite mastered yet. You know, make it tight enough that it can support the weight, but don't make it too tight to where the ratchet's just going to stop working altogether. And yeah, that's something that apparently Unique Toys needs to work on. But what can you do crying about it ain't gonna fix it. Just hopefully Unique Toys learns how to just get those ratchets just at the right tension for a combiner this big. Hopefully, hopefully they'll learn. Ho hopefully they'll get it, hopefully. But anyway, you got that going on. Now, as far as the chest piece goes, this does have an alternate use, which is pretty cool. So we're gonna come down here for now. So what you want to do with the chest piece here is you actually want to take it apart. So these sections right here, as you can see everything just tabs together. So you just undo this section right here, undo this section right here, this bottom section right here, you want to bring this out and you just want to turn it around and plug that back in like that. Um, and this is on a hinge as you can see, you can bring that down. Um, at this point now you want to bring in Brawl's guns and Brawl's guns We'll just peg in right under here, like that, and like that. And then you take these side pieces here, and these will plug in right here onto the sides, like that, and like that. And once you have that going on, we can bring in one of the combined mode feet, and this will just plug in right there. And now you have a little weapon emplacement. Which is pretty cool. I dig that. <laughs> That's pretty cool. You know, and it can rotate. You can angle it up. That's as far down as it will go, but you can angle it up. So that's pretty cool. That's, you know, it makes some use there of the combined mode bits, and I think that's pretty cool. So, yeah. And that's how it scales there with, uh, with Onslaught himself. Of course, you can have, you know, like Swindle arming this if you want to. But I think that's pretty cool. I think that's a nice, uh, a nice use there of the combined mode bits. So. There you have that. So now for camp, our son. Here he is with Warbatron's onslaught. As you can see, oh, they scale with one another. Here he is with Combiner Wars onslaught. So you got that. And here he is with G1 onslaught because he's pressure. Onslaughting pressure. 
Here he is with MP10. You can see he's actually a little bit taller at the head than MP10. Here he is with Masterpiece Starscream. Here he is with Masterpiece Megatron. And again, slightly taller than Masterpiece Megs. And here he is with his Combaticon compatriots. There he is with Bro. And we'll bring in Swindle. And we can see how the Combaticons are shaping up thus far. And they do look quite good together. Very, very nicely done. This set is uh, is looking really good so far. So. There you have that. So there you have Unique Toys Caligos, a.k.a. Onslaught. Um, for the most part, uh, a nicely done figure. The, the major bummer of this figure um, is the ratchet joints that have failed, that outward movement on the hips failing, uh, the waist ratchet failing. Now, again, the, the waist ratchet failing, I, I don't care about because that joint is plenty tight enough as it was and didn't need to be a ratchet anyway, so that I don't care about. But the outward movement on the hips... That does concern me a bit. The forward and backward movement on the hips, I'm waiting for that to stop working, honestly. Um, so yeah, that is definitely a bummer. Now, I, I don't know if this is just my copy or if this is going to be a widespread problem. I don't know. I can only comment on the copy that I am holding in my hands. On my copy, those ratchets failed. Um, will it happen on yours if you buy this figure? I don't know. But as I said earlier, I think that is still something that Unique Toys needs to work on as far as making the ratchets tight enough to support the weight, but not too tight to where they're going to just fail and stop working altogether. I still think that's something that they do need to work on. Other than that, you know, I, I like everything else about the figure. He looks great. He feels great. The transformation is nice and smooth. Um, the paintwork looks really good. There's even some, uh, I don't know if I showed this off, but some nice uh, painted details here on the inner part of the leg as well. So, I mean, he, he looks really good. And for the most part, he works as he should. Just those ratchets failing, that's, that's the major bummer of this toy, unfortunately. But I'm still looking forward to finishing off this set and seeing how this combiner turns out. So there you go. So if you would like this or any of Unique Toys' other offerings, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out my Ragnaros playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Unique Toys Caligos, and this is M Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Big geek, be proud. Boom in your face! Slot, you will be the leader of my Combaticon team. And when this team is finally complete, Megatron won't know what hit him. Well, yes, he will. What, what do you mean? I mean, are, are we going to attack him head on? Well, probably, yes. Well, then he will know what hit him. But look, look, it's, it's just a figure of speech. Well, it's a stupid figure of speech. I mean, if we were attacking him from behind, if we were blindsiding him, then yeah, he wouldn't know what hit him. But if we're going to attack him head on, he's definitely going to know what hit him. Thus, look, it's just a thing that people say, okay? All right, if you say so. All right, well, go out there and lead your team. Break a leg. What? Break whose leg? That's just another figure. You know what? Just, just go do something evil. Oh, that I can do. Hmm. I think I wired his brain wrong. I think my brain's wired wrong. <laughs>